In this video, we're going to be taking a look at how to quickly create this neon lines looping background. Welcome back everyone, I hope you're doing well. If you're new to this channel, my name's Shul Gonsalves and this is Animation Deconstructed. Now we won't be using any paid plugins for this, so let's jump straight into After Effects so I can show you how to create this. So inside After Effects, I've just created a new composition, 1920 by 1080p, 30 frames per second and six seconds long, and I've just named it to Neon Lines. Going to create a new background by right clicking new solid and call this BG. Press OK and let's actually type in gradient. Choose this gradient ramp and I'm going to change this to radial ramp. If you want to follow along with the colors, I'm choosing 130, 42 and C for the purple. And then the other color is just going to be black. Then I just want to position this in the center and then zoom out a little and drop this down until I get something like that. I'm also just going to up my ramp scatter just to about 100, just to smooth things out. And then I want to create the particles. Now, I'm going to create this by creating a new solid. We're going to make this white, just so that we can see it for now. Press OK. Go over to the effects and presets, and type in CC star, and then space burst. I'm going to double click that, and you'll see that we get this star burst that we can fly through. Let's adjust some of these settings. So the scatter, let's take this up to let's try 125. Let's change this grid spacing. So this will adjust the spacing between the particles. So basically how many particles we see. Let's take that up to about 20. Let's go up to about 26 maybe. And then take this size right down. Let's say 20, just see how this is looking. Pretty happy with that. Now in order to create the lines, we're going to add another effect. So this will be called CC and Light Burst. So if you just type in Light, we're going to use this one over here. And you'll see that it actually starts stretching out these towards us. Now what we need to do is actually change the ray length to a negative. So I'm going to say negative 70. And you'll see that these particles now come towards us. I need to drop down to about half so that this is a bit quicker. And we'll fix the intensity of this in a little bit. Let's change the color. So I'm going to select set color. Now if you want to follow along with the colors I'm using, I am using 00FFC0. I'm going to press OK. And then we want to add just one more effect to actually amplify this effect, which is called a matte choker. So type in matte. And over here, we will just double click this and adjust a few things. First thing we want to do is actually adjust the choke. So I'm going to drag this right down. We'll see we go into the negatives. Let's choose minus 125. And then the geometric soft just going to drop down slightly. So let's say 2.5. And we should start getting a nice shape to our particles. Now the rest will go pretty quickly. I'm going to rename this to lines one, then control D or command D to duplicate. And we're just going to change a few things. First of all, let's change the color. I'm going to select FF00A8 as my pink. And then let's adjust just a few things. So the scatter, let's change that to 142. Let's also adjust the phase. So I'm going to hold shift and just drag until we see something that looks a bit more random. And then I'm also going to press the R for rotation on the layer and just make this minus 180 degrees just to get a lot more randomness to this. Then let's duplicate this layer once more, change the color. Let's make this a purple color. So 5400 FF maybe, press OK. And we just want to adjust those same things. So the scatter, let's make this maybe 192. Let's adjust the phase. So I'm going to pull this back as well, something like that. And then maybe just take this back to zero and we should be pretty good. Now in order to make this look like we're really flying into it, I just want to add an adjustment layer. So I'm going to right click, new, adjustment layer. I'm going to come over to effects and presets and type in CC lens. Double click this and let's just change the size of this. If you drag up to about 158 around there should be good. It's going to give this a preview. So now what I want to do is actually pre-compose the adjustment layer and all the lines. Select all the layers, control shift C and call this lines. Press OK and let's add some glows to this. So effects and presets, type in glow, stylized glow, just drag that onto the lines and it's picking up the colors pretty well. So we just need to change the actual glow radius to 90 about should give us a nice soft glow. Duplicate this once more and then take this down into the 80s or so. And you'll see we start getting some banding if you're creating this on your side. Now in order to fix that banding, we just need to go to the project panel, go down to where it says eight bits and alt click on that to change it to 
16 and you'll see that our glow will be a lot softer. Now an easy way to change the colors with this if you're creating this for clients or you just want to see different versions. This is a trick that I use just to give myself some options. I will create a new adjustment layer. Let's rename this to color and then under effects and presets type an in invert and straight off it won't look great. But if you come down to the channel area and we drop this down and let's say we choose in phase chrominance, we'll see that we get this orange neon glowing lines option. You can also drop it down to the one below that and you'll get a green version. Uh, try all the different versions and you'll see that you can quickly recolor your artwork to look any way that you want. Now, the last thing you're probably wondering is how do we loop this? Starburst is a looping sequence. It is a looping particle sequence. So with the settings that we had, it should be around two seconds. And if I go there, press N and just do a test preview. And that is our perfect loop. Now, if you wanted to go into the line, if you wanted to change the speed of this from 1 to 0.5, your loop will probably be 4 seconds. So give that a try yourself if you do want a slower version and up it to 2 if you just want a 1 second loop. Now, if you want to see more videos like this, take a look at either of the videos popping up on screen right now. Keep animating and until next time.